a deceiving quiet exterior at the Hope for Family Center. Yeah, it's busy. We had an ice cream social last night. It was fun. <laughs> but while the Vero Beach Shelter's executive director, Marty Mercado, walks its halls. This is their mailbox. They each get their mail. She knows the reason 21 families and 33 children occupy each shelter's room isn't fun at all. The need has become alarming um, because we just can't find affordable housing. Our phone rings off the hook all day long and there's several families that we have to tell them we just can't help you. In St. Lucie County, where Habitat for Humanity broke ground on 10 new affordable homes Thursday, the need is just as crippling. We had a threefold increase in the number of applications and interest in this. And while so many scramble to map out a solution, Indian River County Commissioner Susan Adams says the federal government isn't helping. That is a complaint we got. Adams says the Housing Urban Development Council, or HUD, sets the definition of an affordable home by calculating the average median income of an area. But across South Florida, she says that number is skewed by those who can afford multi-million dollar homes on the waterfront. So while the county may consider an affordable home to be $150,000 to $200,000, federal government and the HUD definition of affordable might be as high as 450000 which is not affordable for your average worker. Habitat for Humanity has seen it firsthand. I think more accessible affordable housing is the, the, the real, real issue here. And as Marty, hugged tight by this tenant who finally found a home, she has hope for other families that one day the hustle and bustle of her halls will one day fill a home of their own. We need to look at options that are affordable um, and how we're going to do that. Now, the reason I've been speaking to Commissioner Adams on the phone and not in person is because she's out of town at a conference advocating to HUD for policy changes, asking them to redefine that definition. She says if they do, that will help so many families currently feeling the strain. Reporting on the Treasure Coast, I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.